So I hate spam and I get so many emails saying SEO agency, let us do your SEO, let's get SEO. And it's completely annoying. And if SEO was so good, they would be doing SEO and I would come to them versus doing a cold outreach and cold emails uh, because I guess cold email is more efficient than say SEO. So without further ado, uh, let's get into how to actually block these scammers and spammers because they're quite annoying. So I, as you can see, I have, this was just in the last, this is just what I deleted. Uh, I, I figured, you know what, I'm gonna uh, actually remove some of these. Some of them are already blocked because I've already added certain keywords or words in the things to automatically filter them out. If we go to trash, I'm guessing, so all of these, Timo, Fiverr, uh, a lot of Timo and stuff, just automatically go to my trash can without ever having to look at it because it's just, uh, you know, it's easier that way. So how do we actually do this? It's really, really easy. I've, all I do is literally go here, go up to filters, create a filter, and then go to create filter and delete. So anytime I receive uh, from this email address, I will, it will automatically remove them. And this is quite annoying when like, for instance, you try and get rid of a company who is unable to uh, unsubscribe from because that So my mic died while in the middle of doing all that. So we're going to just do it again. So what I actually was doing is just creating filters. I had all these uh, spam. You can see like Bigit. Um, uh, Fiverr, Timo, you know, all these that I just constantly get emails. Mostly it's just like the, uh, the spammy ones that are SEO or, uh, trust, trust, um, like reviews and verified reviews. So all I do was just create filters on how to do that. Um, I wonder if there's any, uh, promote, there we go. So let's just say marble snap. Say I didn't want to get any of these. Say they have a uh, some kind of email that I can't unsubscribe for, from and it's quite annoying and I want to get rid of them. Super easy. I've been just filtering out and um, and then I can put in keywords here. So like previously, these were some of them, verified reviews, Google rankings, reviews, Connex. It's a weird company name, uh, SEO director or SEO services. I, so in my last video that I did not know about this, but I guess, correct me if I'm wrong. If you guys could correct me in the comments, that'd be great. But I heard that you had to put or, um, or for different words instead of commas. I'm not hundred percent sure on that. Um, this is what chat GPT said. You would put obviously you won or congratulations. Would commas work instead of or, for example? And just take this out. See if that works. No, so no using commas instead of or it won't work for post -insurance. You need to use or. So there we go. So I've been, uh, I guess, doing this wrong. I have, I mean, I haven't been doing it wrong. I, this is the first time I've really been using this to get rid of spam because lately I've been just getting bombarded with people wanting to work with me, uh, people that wanted to sell me services that are worthless, um, you know, all these things. So, um, or SEO, or SEO rankings, or SEO Google, you know, all of these things. And so just create filter. Actually, I'm going to probably delete this because I don't really need that. It's just these keywords. So create, and then I'm just gonna go ahead and delete and then create filter. And by doing that, it's going to filter and trash emails that come in that are uh, spamming. Uh, so like for instance, Valvoline, if, if I can't say unsubscribe here, say this is not working because like say some crypto exchange is wanting to um, not allow me to unsubscribe because I'm from the USA, or you know, whatever, uh, and they keep sending me emails, I can, which is quite annoying, I can just create a filter. And all I'm doing is just going up to the little dot here, filter messages, 
and then uh, doing SEO or if the subject is SEO or if it's just that company, I could just do the cut the company name uh, and then do a filter for that. So uh, all these obviously are uh, things I don't need. I can actually delete all these. I'm glad I saw that. Um, but very easy to do. I've been trying to clean up my mailbox recently to get rid of a lot of um, promotional stuff so that I can only focus on uh, clientele. But um, yeah, figured out to give you guys that a little tip. Um, personally, I've never used filters. This is like the first time for me. And uh, maybe all of you know how to use it. But maybe there's one or two who have never used it and maybe want to get rid of some of the spammy emails. And this is who this is for. Um, personally, I've, like I said, never used them. So I um, figured I'd share with you guys and uh, show you what I'm doing. Uh, like, for instance, I thought you put a comma. And when verifying with Chapter GPT, use or uh, instead so that your uh, can add a range of words to remove versus um, some words. So like putting the comma did not solve anything. So I'm glad I verified with ChatGPT on how to do that. So that's it guys. I wanted to share that with you. Hope that was helpful. If it wasn't, that's great. If it was even more awesome, go ahead and like and subscribe and I'll see you guys on the next.